So the vision of Quill is to enable VR native entertainment, not just a movie that you see in two dimensions, but an actual immersive film experience. So like films, but using all the power of VR. With version 2.0, Quill is becoming a self-contained storytelling tool. We're introducing a timeline that allows creators to create longer form animations and storytelling that was not possible before. My favorite part about the 2.0 update is the animation timeline and your ability to hold frames and add keyframes and really animate in a 2D animation fashion, but in 3D space. Animating with transform keyframes in 2.0 is much faster. For example, you could draw a train with traditional frame by frame, have the wheels turning and some static loops, and then take that entire animation, translate it very quickly with a couple of transform keyframes. With the grab tool, you can draw and model your character. And once you have a model and with all of your details, you can use grab tool to pose it into different poses for your story. And that allows you to do frame by frame animation like you would in stone motion. The stop feature in Quill 2.0 is a new concept we're introducing to take advantage of some of the unique characteristics of VR narratives. I really wanted to make the audience be immersed in a comic book. So there are moments where the action is going to stop. But everything keeps alive. And then when you press the button, you can turn the page to the next scene. I needed to have a film that had different audio sources on the different sides of the same building. So you couldn't have a person on one side of the building hearing the story on the other side. For that use, there was new cone audio sources that allowed people to hear different areas of the film. So every individual viewer can get its own audio experience within the same scene. With the Quill 2.0 update, I can really take my animation skills to the next level. You can edit, you can cut, you can fade in and out. You have all the narrative tools that you would in traditional cinema, but in VR. It's uh, amazing that you can now create the whole uh, VR narrative experience within one software. Anybody who's creative who tries it will understand immediately the benefit. And once creative people are there making stuff, then there'll be stuff for the rest of the world to come and see.